This is this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back with another edition of Quick Hits. Uh, interesting show today. Jaime Munguia has an opponent. We're going to get into it. We're going to try to make sense of it. But before we do, please like, share, and su- subscribe. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog comes at you. Uh, 3D Boxing Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Um Please follow us on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery, so it's very near and dear to our heart. All right, let's get into um, today's show. Jaime Munguia, who I said is the most improved fighter, was the most improved fighter in 2021. I really believe that. I thought his wins against Ballard and, well, I guess Ballard w- w- was early 2022, but his wins over Rosado, Zamarja, and, and and then early 2022, he beat uh, Big Meech, Demetrius Ballard, were very impressive. I thought they were all really good wins. I thought he looked good in all of them. Vastly improved. His footwork is better. He jabs better. He cuts off the ring better. There's a lot of things better. Um... <clears throat> That's what makes this next opponent and I don't know if any of y'all are going to know who this is. So weird, right? Like, he's just what Ballard, who was probably a step backward from Gabe, um, but a valid, a fair opponent. On You know, um, and now he's fighting. Ready for this? Jimmy Kilrain Kelly. Um, he's from Lanchester, Lanchester, Lancashire. However, you want to say that UK. I, he looks to be a, of Irish ancestry. I, I know that Oscar likes to do that. He likes to mix Mexican fighters um, with Irish fighters. I don't think it has really any. There goes the first McCullough. I, I don't think in 2022 it really has any special appeal. It's not like USA, I mean, a Puerto Rico versus Mexico or, or, or anything like that. I don't really, you know, see any appeal in it. Other than you know, if it's a good fight or not, uh, there's no extra. I don't think that's any extra appeal to it. Um, this opponent makes no sense. Jimmy Kilrain Kelly. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar, um, just took a uh, majority decision over Kanat Islam um, in a ten round fight at Plant City, Florida, which is where they had the uh, pro box card today. Um, this looks to be the main event that was in February. 25th. I, I'm just not seeing why he would fight Mungia. Um, is this just a stay busy fight? Well, you can't get anyone better than this. That's definitely his best win. His two fights before that, Jimmy Kilrain Kelly um, knocked out Harry Matthews, who's 16 49 and 3. And before that, he beat Miguel Aguilar, who is 11 57 and 1. And he beat him in a six round decision. This is who he's fighting. I, can someone help me make sense of this? And before that, in 2018, um, he lost to Dennis Hogan via unanimous decision. And the judges, now it's in, it was in Australia, so. These fights could have been close to this, but the judges had it wide 117, 111, 119, 109, 117, 113. Um, besides that, he really doesn't have any Rick Godding. I don't know who that is. He really has no victories of note. He also um, got blown out by Liam Smith all the way back in 20, what is this? 2015. There's just nothing here. Uh, I, I don't know why he would get this fight. I don't know even where they found him. Um Look, Mogia is vastly improved. Mogia is ready for the names at 160, whether it be Charlo, Andre. I know Andre's going up, but whoever it, 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 it may be at 160. 
this is this is Mugia. This is he's becoming a finished product now, right? Like he's 25. He's no longer, you know, best fighters under 25 or prospects. I mean, um, you know, if you want to put him in with Triple G or Mugia or, or Eubank, like like now's the time. Like this is this is a finished product, so to speak, of Mungia. Um, I don't understand why he's fighting this guy. Um, like I said, he lost to Hogan. Now I know you're gonna say. Arguably, and I had it as my robbery of the year, I believe, Hogan beat Mungia all the way back in, I want to say it was 2019, might have been 2018, 2019, April of 2019, um, Hogan may have, likely, probably deserved, probably won eight rounds against Mungia. McGee has vastly improved then, right? So I, I'm a boxing guy. I know the Hogan fight. I think I had it as my robbery of the year. Hogan definitely won that fight. Hogan got the Jamal Charlo, the Jamal Charlo, big Charlo fight off of that, and Charlo blew him out. Um, and then the only other name he has, he got beat by Liam Smith years ago, 2015. I, this is such a major step back. Why is Golden Boy doing this? And they can't get him any better name than Jimmy Kelly? I mean, how, do you guys even know who this is? Um, Fox Rock has him as a top 20 middleweight. I'm not sure how they got him there. Um, Mateo Signani, Rob Brandt, Jason Rosario, Escavo Falco. I mean, he's is it in the mix with those names. Why not have him fight Lewis Aries? Has Aries um, fought since the uh, – yes, he did. He lost to Vaughn Alexander. That's right. How do you beat Jarrett Hurd and then lose to Vaughn Alexander? And Anyway. Um, I mean, there are a lot better names that you could put him in with Jimmy Kilrain Kelly. Um, it just doesn't make a ton of sense to me. I, I, I don't know the intriguing this. It's going to be at the uh, Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Not a bad spot for it. Um, I, I just don't I don't really particularly understand this this matchup. Um, what if Mugia wins? Like, who cares? What if he loses? Oh, that's not going to be good. He's not going to lose. I'm gonna. I'm probably going to do a scouting report on this guy, um, and see what he's all about. Because I'm not. The fight's on June 11th, so it's just a couple weeks away. Like it's fairly short notice, so they're not giving him the toughest fight. I, just, I, I was just so surprised. Who's Jimmy Kelly? Right? Like, who is this guy? Um, again, he's really got nothing impressive on his resume. Nothing to make me think he can be at all competitive in this fight. But like I said, I'm going to do a scouting report on him. I'm going to check him out and watch some of his fights. And uh, that'll that'll be on the 3D Boxing blog. And I'll come back. And if I'm wrong, if this guy's good, if this guy's better than I'm saying, then I'll, I'll you know, I'll recant this. But I, for the life of me, I get at this particular time, 60 might not be the, the most loaded division in the sport. There are better names, better fighters than Jimmy Kilrain Kelly. Um. His resume does nothing to warrant this fight. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. You guys just is blown away. And, and I want to see Mungia fight better fighters because I used to think Mungia was, you know, a blunt object. He could come forward if you could move, if you could box, you could beat him. I don't think anymore. He's vastly improved. He's vastly, vastly improved. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this fight. Are you just as confused as, as I, by it as I am? Um, it is May 20th, 2022. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.